I want to talk about probably my favorite pieces of gear that I've literally never talked about on my channel. Yeah, going to be talking about my Sony a7 4 uh, rig. This is my baby. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it and show you what I'm actually doing and how I actually rig this out uh, for my shoes. Let's get into it. All right, so just for context, I know y'all wanna get to the gear, but you know, I gotta give you context on what we're talking about. But uh, yeah, the Sony a7 IV, I've had it um, since its release. I think the camera now has been out, I think it's been four years. I think the camera came out um, January, 2020, or it was like somewhere 2020, 2021. All I know is I pre-ordered it. You know, I know there was a shipping delay, whatever, um, but b and I've had it ever since. Full frame, I absolutely love it. I think even three or four years later, this is still the best overall camera if you're a hybrid creator like myself. What I mean by hybrid creator, and I really should say hybrid professional, if you're a professional videographer, if you're a professional photographer, and a lot of times, let's say you really only have one body. And contrary to popular belief, you can get a lot done just with one camera body as long as you have the right lens. But um, I love the a7 IV, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm able to switch back and forth between photo and video like in an instant, you know, due to the dials that are actually on the camera. So a lot of times when I get hired for, you know, photography gigs, guess what I'm also doing, whether it's BTS or whether it's just something to give added value, you know what I'm saying, to my customers, I'll also quickly go ahead and shoot video. I don't have to worry about changing settings or whatever, those things are already saved. You know, a couple of other things I love about the a7 IV, you got that dual, you know what I'm saying, card slot. You do get to shoot at 4K 60, you know what I'm saying, but it does shoot at a crop. Again, depending on what lens you're using or what the situation is you're shooting in, of course, that's going to be a downer for a lot of people. But I still tell people, you know, if you want the best of both worlds, you know what I'm saying, to be able to get that nice, you know what, I think it's what, 35 megapixel sensor. So to get some great photos that are not too large in quality that you can even handle, you know, on Lightroom Mobile or Capture One Mobile or something like that. And to get some great video footage with that 422 10 bit color spectrum, you can not beat it. You know, I think you're taking the 7K sensor down to 4K, whatever. You can tell I absolutely love the camera, but I know I've done you guys a disservice because I haven't really talked about it a lot. But there is my context, there is my pitch. And so usually when I'm using it, if I just run out to a photography gig, usually I'm probably, um, if I'm doing an event, you know, I'm just, you know, being a sniper, you know what I'm saying? So I'll usually just probably keep the cage on and that's it and just run with the body and the lens. Um, if I'm doing a portrait session, same thing, you know, I got a trigger um, on that, you know, doing some flash and different things like that. But when I know I'm specifically gonna be doing like video behind the scenes, whether I'm on set or whatever, that's how we end up with where we are today. So I kind of want to walk you through the pieces that I have and just show you what I have going on specifically. And I think this is a pretty good budget rig. So if you're interested, um, I'm going to link everything down in the description, but let's go ahead and get into what you really want to see. What am I using to put together my a7 IV? I don't want to say cinema rig, but that's what we're going to call it uh, for the purpose of this video. All right, so let's start with the cage, which is actually, um, it is not a small rig cage, even though just about everything else on this rig is small rig. This is not a small rig cage. This is the Nicey rig um, cage that is actually intended for the A7 IV and the A7S III. Um, and I think you'll find that consistent, you know what I'm saying, with a lot of the small rig or the newer cages um, as well, because it's pretty much the same body. But um, the only reason I didn't get the small rig at the time, because I think this was like half of the price. And when you're already spending, I think like what, $25, $2,600 just for the body, we're not even talking about memory cards. That's a whole nother conversation. Um, but just for the body at the time, I was like, hey, I still want something secure, not cheap, but um, secure. And I think at the time of recording this, I think you can get this for like $48, a little under $50. Um, for the nicer rig, but you see we've got the RE pins, you know what I'm saying, right there on top, two cold shoe connections. We got RE pin on the side as well. And uh, I can always get to the battery plate pretty easily, you know, so that's not an issue um, right there. The only thing that I don't like, well, let me say this, I do love the fact this is actually a NATO rail, 
this is a NATO rail. Now I'm just now getting into NATO rails. I'm not really using NATO rails yet, um, but um, I have some actually on order coming. Um, it does have a NATO rail built in and the bottom of the plate is supposed to be Arca Swiss compatible. And honestly it is, but I was trying to, it's another component I'm getting ready to talk about in a second that I found out. I don't think Arca Swiss is, um, um, all parts are equal because I actually had to add a small rig Arca Swiss plate, which is what you can see right there on the bottom to the nicer rig cage um, to make it work with the next piece of gear, uh, which I'm actually getting ready to show you. All right, so this next piece of gear allows me to keep the rig compact. I know a lot of times you see people that add the 15 millimeter rods, um, but this is a small rig um, V mount battery plate. And what I love about this is that there's a locking mechanism that allows you to actually flip this up. You also have, um, you know, the extension, you know, so you can dictate how far or how close, how compact you actually want your rig um, to be. So I love the fact this keeps the rig compact. I can keep the battery door close. And if I need to, I can pull this back and forth, you know, if I need to, you know, pull my camera screen in um, or actually pull it back in. All right, and speaking of V mount batteries, um, I know everybody is crazy about the small rig batteries, but um, I love this newer. All right, this is a newer and kind of looks similar uh, to the small rig battery, but this is a newer um, V mount 99 watt, just like most of the small rig. Um, you got eight volt and 12 volts, you know what I'm saying? DC output, you know what I'm saying? So you can see that right there. We've also got USB-C and USB-A. You know, so you can get the power delivery that you want there. And then we've also got the uh, D tap here on the side. All right, let me show you that. These connections are actually, covers are really rugged, um, rigid, I should say, which is actually a good thing. But uh, premium quality, like light, I love it, feels great. You know what I'm saying? No issue. Press the power button, and then you actually get a display, you know, of what your levels are and what the voltage is. And so this actually powers the whole rig. I use this to power um, the camera. I also use this to power um, the monitor, you know, so I actually just attach this to the V mount plate. And like I said, if I need to flip out my camera screen again, it's light enough, it's compact enough. And I actually flip this out, flip this back in. Um, so I love that combination there in particular um, with this V mount battery, along with that small rig V mount plate. The good thing about the battery is not only does it power the whole rig, it actually helps balance everything out. You guys seen with the 24 um, to 105, that is very front heavy. So that, you know, keeping the rig compact without having to add rods or shoulder pad um, or something like that based on how I actually shoot um, and hold the camera, um, it acts as a weight. And so it makes it easier when I want to introduce something like a small rig top handle. You know what I'm saying? This is the handle here you know, pretty much basic where you got the cold shoes, you know what I'm saying? At the front and the back, you got the RE pin connection there. And then you got the RE pin in the very front where I usually mount my monitor. And then you got the RE pin on the top. Usually what I do is I actually love this monitor mount from Sure. First of all, I just love the color. I love that brushed aluminum look. And so, yeah, so I used to actually use the small rig monitor with the cold shoe to put on the very front, but to give me some extra space and kind of the way I like um, the way it looks, I actually use the Sure. It's not Suri, it's not Suri, but it's the Sure um, RE mount SR2270248. This is the AM MTA. I don't even know why I told y'all that. All the links are definitely um, going to be in the description. And the good thing about it is that sometimes putting this, you know what I'm saying, top handle on top, that can make the rig very tall, even though I would like to carry it like that. But one thing I can do, because the nice rig does have the RE pins on the top, I can actually just attach the monitor and get even more compact and just literally set that up just like that. You know, so there's not even um, an issue, you know, so I'm sorry that didn't necessarily focus. But when I do want to go real top heavy, put the, you know, top handle, we definitely got to make sure we have a side handle and this is the small rig handle. 
small rig handle. Again, y'all know I love these REPN connections because they're very secure and that allows me to kind of carry all of that weight together. Um, and that's pretty much the main components of the rig other than some other accessories that I'm gonna show you here. All right, even though I'm actually gonna be upgrading it soon, man, this has been tried and true. My field monitor, which is the Feel World Master MA5. You gotta be a real OG with Feel World um, to really know what this is. I mean, it's, it's like, ooh, the, the build quality is not great with this. You know, it's pretty plasticky, but, um, Again, I'm probably just gonna use this on the secondary rig for like the Sony ZV-E10 um, or the A6400 or the 6700 when I have to take those out. But um, this is this has been tried and true. And it, and the only thing is it's not touchscreen, you know? So that's the only reason I'm upgrading because I do like the touchscreen um, ability of the Viltrox DC550 Pro. I'm waiting for that to come in. I also looked at the Field World um, F5 Plus, I think it is. But um, either one, the DC, the, the Viltrox is on the way, but the um, Field World, we might check that out too. But uh, yeah, I'm able to power this, you know what I'm saying? Um, you can use the Canon LP batteries or the Sony, you know, MP batteries, and uh, I'm able to get in HDMI in, HDMI out. I can power this DCI in. I do get DCI out, so if I wanted to actually power my camera with this as well, I do have that option, but this does everything um that the main you know what i'm saying like the atomos is you know other than the ninja that records of course there's no internal internal recording here but you know um i don't normally shoot with LUTs, so i don't need you know what i'm saying to import those this gives me zebras this gives me false color this gives me focus peaking um everything that i actually need and use in a monitor for how i shoot this actually gives me everything. So I don't even know if you can find this on Amazon anymore. Um, definitely maybe on eBay, but definitely if you can come across one, a cheap does it all monitor. If you if you just want something just to be able to see your shot and you're not worried about, you know, touch focus or anything like that, this is a great option. The Feel World Master um, MA5. And other than that, you know, for scratch audio, you guys know I use my famous video mic go to. You know what I'm saying? That I'll throw up there because I love getting scratch audio. It definitely helps if I'm not using time code or something like that. It definitely helps for syncing audio purposes in post if I need to. But I will get this for scratch audio. Great mic, great addition. Um, and then I usually lob somebody up and I'll um, throw in one of the code shoes because it has internal recording like the um, video mic go to's or the video mic pros um, or whatever. And that's pretty much the main other than the cables you know, and different things like that. That is the main setup, you know, for the rig, for when I just run and gun, shoot BTS, whatever reels, vertical, all of that. That's my rig. That's how I get it done. Um, that's how we get these amazing shots um, that you guys are now going to get to see more. And I'm, I, I, I don't know what's wrong with me. Like I'm a shooter and I don't actually show you guys what I shoot, but uh, hopefully you found some value out of all of that, let me know. Um, I know rigs is like, other than like desk tours and office tours or whatever, rigs are like the most popular thing, the biggest thing ever on YouTube. But let me know what you think. Do you, are you using some of the same components? Do you have any recommendations? Again, I'm trying to keep things compact. I'm not adding rods or anything like that. I think the only other thing I may end up adding is a small rig um, mini mat box or whatever. So if I do add that, I mean, it is summertime, springtime, summertime, I'll probably end up doing a lot more shooting outdoors. So that's the only other thing I'll probably add. But other than that, I love it. It definitely is heavy, but hey, let's get that workout in. But if you found val value in this video, let me know, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that bell so you can be notified every single time I post new content to the channel. But until next time, I'll catch you guys in one of these videos you see playing on your screen right now. I'll let you boy.